everybody, welcome back to Armored Test Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look, doing a little bit of an unboxing for the Athlon Argos 20 to 60 by 85 uh, straight angled spotting scope. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Tactical Gun Belt. It has an adjustable seat belt here. This can raise up or come down. So in full disclosure right up front, uh, I did not pay for this. Um, this actually belongs to my friend who just bought it. And uh, he was kind enough to let me do kind of a little unboxing with it. I'm not really going to get a chance to take it out in the field, um, but uh, I am just going to kind of go over my first impressions of it. I'm kind of a novice still when it comes to optics, um, long range optics, spotting scopes, things like that. So keep that in mind that I'm not a professional long range shooter. Um, I don't shoot with a $3,000 optic. Um, I don't spot with a $3,000 optic. I'm kind of a budget baller, as they say. Um, so anyway, this is a pretty good, um, pretty, pretty reasonably priced optic. Um, from the feature set from what I understand. Um, I'll put the MSRP um, in, the, in the video kind of down below because I don't quite remember what it's at, um, but the MSRP is on it. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's take it out. It comes in a pretty good sized box. Um, has all the specs right there. Can't tell if that's focusing or not. Hopefully it does. Um, and if it's not, you can see it on the website. So it comes in a pretty big box. Um, Let's go ahead and just kind of pull this out and over. Okay, that's cool. I actually didn't know uh, that it came with kind of a soft carrying case. Um, it's not like super thick. Um, it's just kind of a decent little layer of protection for padding. You drop it off a cliff, don't know that's going to protect it from getting scuffed, but if you drop it just kind of lightly or it's bouncing around somewhere, that should protect it pretty well. Um, you got this zipper part for the eyepiece comes down, just kind of hangs there so you don't lose it. That's good. Um, it's got some hook and loop Velcro material there on this side and then the loop side is on here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that's for at the moment. Uh, it looks like you got hooked down here and uh, you can cinch it down here maybe so it stays out of the way, but it looks like to me. I don't know, I don't know much about this. I'm kind of just f figuring it out as I go. Nice little shoulder strap, um, pretty basic, not bad. And then this obviously opens up on, on this end. So, um, cool, it's pretty neat. Comes with, you know, your typical little soft cloth cleaning case and a little manual. Um, let's see. Looks pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a different language, so it's only a couple pages. You know, stuff like you know, how to use it, what the features are on it, things like that. Um, from what I understand, this is a pretty decent little spotting scope with feature wise, you know, it's nitrogen purged to prevent fogging. It's, it's waterproof, um, you know, shock proof, uh, that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's got all the fancy little uh, lens coatings for light emission and reduced glare and all that. You guys can go look on the website and see all that. I don't know of all of it off the top of my head. Um, and I don't know what half of it means, to be honest with you. So I'm just a regular dude who likes guns. Um, comes with a little foam padding on the top. And then this is how it looks in the box. So a nice big foam padding all around to protect it, which is good because right here, there's a pretty decent little indent on the, on the corner. I was kind of worried, but it's so well protected. Um, and then it comes in a plastic bag. Um, and Tim, I promise to try and put this back as neatly as possible because this is yours, not mine. So um, this is hefty. This is heavier than I kind of would have expected. Again, I don't have a lot of experience with spotting scopes. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. 
I'll see if I can weigh it. Um, or actually, the website will tell us. I'll put up from the website, but um, it's hefty. It's, it's heavier than I was thinking. Hopefully, that means it's built quality. Um, it does come with a little uh, nice thick rubber lens that goes on the front with a little uh, eyelet right there so you don't lose it. And then a nice little piece right there that does not have an eyelet, so that will get lost if you don't have it attached. Um, the, the coating on the outside, like, it, it has like a, like a rubber coating, I believe. Feels good. Um, it's not really squishy rubber. It's kind of a hard rubber. Um, and oh, it's got the built-in uh, sunshade. That's cool. Okay, nice. I know a lot of people pay a lot of money for those. I don't know if that's typical on spotting scopes. I have no idea. Um, you got your eyepiece here. That is a, that's a big, that's a big eyepiece. Um, then you can obviously you can rotate it out for, you know, so you can get your eye up and close to it. Or if you're wearing glasses, you can have it go in so you can get right up there with your glasses on. Um, you've got your zoom magnification ring right here, 20 to 60. It's very, it's, it's smooth. It's easy to manipulate, but it's not going to move on its own. I mean, unless you put some decent pressure on it, but it's, it's stiff enough, but not too loose. Um, got a built in, uh, like quick detach stand here for like a tripod. Um, I don't, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what kind of attachment this fits. Um, I did try on some of my tripods and they didn't, they didn't fit. They have like, like, like a quick detach plate. So maybe it's not meant to be doing that. Um, it does have the, I think, uh, quarter inch um, threading on the inside. So you can thread it onto like a camera mount. So it's probably more what it's intended for. Um, but I would imagine there's a, a quick detach for this somewhere. And then there's a knob right here that you can loosen and then you can rotate this. So I guess if you wanted to, you know, have it on your stand and have it like this, look through it that way rather than having it be up and looking through it or whatever, you can, if you're kind of at a weird angle, you can adjust it. So that's pretty cool. Um, go ahead and tighten that back down. And, uh, oh, and then you have your focus knob, uh, your focus ring right here. Um, again, it's kind of just like this, this uh, zoom ring, it's stiff. It's not gonna move with a little brush of a touch, but uh, it's, it's, it's easy to manipulate. So that's really nice. I have, I did actually take this out already and uh, I will put some B-roll of video and pictures I took through it and kind of the distances I was looking at. Um, keep in mind, I just did it in my backyard. So it kind of looked like a creeper, but I really wasn't creeping, I promise. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll put some pictures and video on there. But overall, um, this is pretty nice. Um, like I said, I did look through the, the scope already um, and it was very clear. Like I was impressed. Again, I'm not the type of person who has a $3,000 spotting scope. So I, I, don't, I don't know how to compare it to a more expensive spotting scope, but it was very clear and it was very nice. I was very impressed with this spotting scope. Um, so obviously time will tell how it holds up, um, how customer service is, if it's ever needed, that kind of thing. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. So um, we'll see how Tim likes it when he gets it and uh, go from there. But anyway, that's it guys. That's kind of the unboxing. Again, comes with the scope, really big box with padding, the cleaning rag, the uh, little booklet, the manual, and a decent, not probably the best, but a decent included little case that goes around it. So uh, that's it. Hope that was helpful, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll do what I can to answer those for you. Um, be sure to hit subscribe if you felt this was helpful. Um, I'm gonna try and do more content as, as much as I can. And uh, check all the links down below for this to see, to see this, to buy it, um, to see the specs and then check out my social media pages. I'm trying to do some giveaways here soon. I've been talking about doing that for a little while 
and I have kind of a box put together with a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do a giveaway with. It's not garbage stuff, but is it a gun? Is it, is it this? No, but it's some cool stuff. It's free. Stop complaining. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks guys. Have a good day. Yeah.